Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what we're going to be doing is something a little bit special. This is going to be a side-by-side -side speed test comparison and benchmarking video of Windows 10 versus Debian versus a Arch-based system. Now I did a much shorter and simpler version of this video a couple months back. That one was Windows 10 versus Ubuntu versus Manjaro. This time I am going to do what a lot of you guys requested me to do and that is switch out Ubuntu for Debian and then switch out Manjaro for either Arch or something that is extremely close to Arch. And for that case, since I am going to have to be installing this quite a bit, I'm going to use Endeavor OS, which is a Arch based Linux distribution that is extremely lightweight and very, very close to just vanilla Arch. In this video, I am going to be using two different machines to do a wide variety of different benchmarks. I'm going to be using my ThinkPad laptop to do a lot of the little side-by-side -side speed tests, as well as some general benchmarking. And then later on in the video, I will be doing general benchmarking on the actual desktop, comparing that to the laptop, and then doing additional synthetic benchmark tests on my desktop machine. And if you are interested on the specifications of the machines I'll be running these tests on, there'll be information down in the description. So first, let's start off by doing the boot speed test and some general side-by-side -side comparisons. So what I did here was started all three operating systems at the same time from a cold boot to ensure there's no hibernation or anything like that. And on the ThinkPad, first place we have the Arch-based operating system at 17 seconds, followed up by Debian at 21 seconds, and then trailing over 10 seconds behind is Windows. I also decided to run this test on the desktop just to see if there'd be any significant differences on better hardware. And there actually was, Arch still came in the lead with 13 seconds, but this time Windows was very close at 14 seconds with Debian following behind at 16 seconds. Next, I decided to do a simple side-by-side -side application launch test using GIMP, and both of the Linux distros are fairly quick with Endeavor, opening GIMP in 2-3 to three seconds, followed up by Debian with about 3-4 to four seconds. And then what really kind of surprised me was it took Windows 10 over 30 seconds to just open up GIMP. Now with GIMP actually open, I decided to run a quick render test. To do this, I made a 2500 by 2500 pixel canvas and rendered out the lava texture. This test actually had flipped results from the application launch test, with Arch coming in at about 12 seconds, Windows 10 coming in about 13 seconds, and then on this test it took Debian nearly 47 seconds to actually render out this texture. I didn't record this test on the desktop computer, but I will know on better hardware this deviation is not nearly as extreme. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and do some of these general benchmark tests on both the ThinkPad and the desktop computer. And in this case, we're going to be actually starting with a graphical benchmark, the U-Engine Valley test. What this test is going to do is measure the frame rates, the GPU clock speeds, the GPU temperature, and a couple other factors while it renders out a couple different complex scenes. Now for this test on the ThinkPad, we ran it at 720p on low settings, and with the desktop, we ran it at 1080p high settings. So first we'll start off with some of the scores on the desktop computer. Coming in last place, we have Windows scoring 3,858, nearly 400 points behind Debian scoring 4,246. And then if we go ahead and take a look at these scores on the laptop, it followed the same ranking, but with Arch coming in the lead at 756 points, with Debian at 691, and Windows at 669. For the next test, we fired up Firefox on all three systems and loaded up Basemark Web 3.0. Basemark Web will simply run a suite of tests that test your browser's overall capabilities, including HTML5, JavaScript, things like that. Starting again with the desktop computer, we have Windows First Victory at 917 points, followed up closely by Arch with 886 points, and then Debian comes in last at 712 points. Looking at the laptop, we had Arch coming in the lead at 282, followed up by Windows at 240, and then again last was Debian at 209 points. Now the last generalized test that we ran on both of these systems was Geekbench 5. Geekbench is a cross-platform utility that will allow us to test both our single-core and multi-core CPU performance. 
Now first checking out the single core performance on the desktop, everything is very close, but Debian actually had a slight advantage over Arch with about a 25 point difference, and then Windows fell behind at 1271. And then looking at the multi-core performance, it follows the same pattern with Debian coming the lead followed by Arch, and then Windows with a fairly noticeable difference. Taking a look at the performance on the laptop, it follows basically the same pattern with the order going Debian first, Arch second, and Windows third on both single and multi-core performance. Next up, we're gonna be running some synthetic benchmark tests on all three operating systems, but this time we're only gonna be running these on the desktop machine. Now, synthetic benchmarking isn't really the best thing to go off of, but what it will do is give us a really good idea of if any of these systems have any major differences when it comes to these very specific tasks. Now the first synthetic benchmark we ran is called Crafty and it is a open source chess engine. Now when this benchmark gives you a score, it's in the millions. So I will be rounding a little bit, but you can see the actual details on the screen. Coming in first place, we had Debian at 9 million with Windows following at 8.7 million, and then in this test, Arch came in last at 8.4 million. Next, I went ahead and ran C-Ray, which is a simple ray tracing benchmark tool that will test your floating point CPU performance. In this case, it's measured in seconds, so the lower the score, the better. And with this one, everything was fairly neck and neck with all the results within a second, and Windows and Arch were actually within a tenth of a second. All of these operating systems came in at 63 seconds, with Windows and Arch closer to the 64 second mark. Next is the Cache Bench Benchmark, which is designed to test the memory and cache bandwidth performance in your system. In this case, the higher the score, the better, because it is measured in megabytes per second. And in this test, we had a really odd result. We had Windows beat out Arch by about 1000 megabytes per second, but then if we look at Debian, it actually fell behind by almost double, coming in at 32,500 megabytes per second. After a quick inquiry with the professionals on Reddit, this is more than likely an actual issue with the benchmarking tool because of the near perfect times two factor, but the results of this are still interesting regardless. If this is a factor of the actual Debian result being cut in half, that would mean Debian would actually come in first place, but I'm not sure. Next up I ran a benchmark tool called PHP Bench, which will run a large number of simple tests in order to bench various aspects of the PHP interpreter. On the actual website for this utility, it says it is a great tool to compare hardware, PHP versions, and operating systems. Now this test came with some of the largest and most consistent differences between these operating systems, with Windows falling in last place with about 408,000 points, coming in second place was Debian with 522,000 points, and then Arch did really well in this test scoring 710,000 points. Now the next benchmark we ran was PYBench, and what this is is a Python utility that will run tests and report the average time results for those tests. With that said, in this case, the lower the score, the better. In this case, we had Debian in first place at 949 milliseconds, closely followed behind by Arch with 952, and then in this test, Windows did fall behind with 1,374 milliseconds. Lastly, we ran a test to test the memory of your system called T-Test 1. This is a basic memory allocator benchmark, and again, this is measured in time, so the smaller the number, the better. And in this test, Windows 10 actually came in first place with 23.2 seconds, followed up closely by Debian with 24.9 seconds, and then Arch did slightly lag behind this with 27.1 seconds. Now a question you might be asking yourself is does the kernel version actually, or does it serve any difference with these benchmarks? Uh, up to this point, I've been doing all these tests with the kernels that the ISOs come with. Now in this case, Debian came with the 4.19 kernel, and you might be wondering if upgrading to the 5.9 had any differences. So that is exactly what I did. I did this by simply adding the backdoor repos to be able to upgrade the kernel within Debian. After upgrading to 5.9, I restarted the system and reran all the synthetic benchmarks as well as the Uigen Valley benchmark. You can see on this chart here, most of the results stayed pretty close to the same, but I did see significant improvements in two of these tests. 
first starting off with the PHP bench test with the old score being 522,000, we saw a jump to 659,000 with the kernel upgrade still coming in second place to Arch, but much, much closer. Where we saw an even more impressive improvement was in the memory TT test one benchmark. When on the 4.19 kernel, it ran the test at 24.8 seconds, upgrading to the 5.9, gave us nearly a six second advantage, and in the original test, this would have put it ahead of Arch by nearly five seconds. So when actually running these benchmarks and speed tests, it seems that the better hardware you have the closer all these scores and the closer the performance seems to be. But all three of these systems do trade wins and losses in certain categories. If we take a look back at some of the general benchmarking, we see that Windows has better single core performance, while an Arch-based system probably has better multi-core performance. And in a lot of the tests, Arch in general seems to just have a slight edge when it comes to just daily tasks. Even the boot speed tests, Arch does have an advantage, but it is a much lightweight and lighter operating system. If you are running on a newer system, you have a good amount of RAM, you have a powerful CPU, ultimately this doesn't really make a difference. You could pick whatever system is better for you. Performance isn't really that big of a concern, but if you are running on an older system, you may want to take many of these benchmarks and testing into consideration. But ultimately, you can get all these numbers and form your own conclusions into a winner. It's really hard to indicate an exact winner because of the trades of wins and losses in certain categories. Speaking of, there will be a link in the description to all the data I collected during these tests, as well as links to all the benchmarks I ran so you could get more details on exactly what was going on. Please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I really do enjoy putting out these benchmark and speed test videos, so there will be definitely more like this to come, mixed in with my usual Linux content. Please support me by liking this video. If you disliked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.